Hello everyone. Today we are following the exercise 4.3 of class 9th, where we have to solve the question on factorization. We already know that there are two terms. Here also x minus y, y whole square can be taken as one term. So these are two terms and both of them are perfect squares. And if they are perfect squares, then there is only one formula which is here x square minus y square is equal to x minus y multiplied by x plus y. This is one identity where if there is a there are two perfect squares with a negative sign in between, then we can easily factorize them as x minus y and x plus y. In this question, it is 4x square and 25y square. 4x square is a perfect square of 2x and 25y square is a perfect square of 5y. So this can definitely be written as 2x minus 5y as one factor and 2x plus 5y as another factor. Same way, all the questions can be solved of this exercise which are having two factors which both of them are perfect squares. Here we can write it as 3x whole square minus 1 square which can be written as 3x minus 1 and 3x plus 1. In this case, 150 and 6a square are not perfect squares. So first of all, we have to see that which term we can take as common. Here we can take 6 as common, it becomes 25 minus a square. Now we know that 25 and a square both are perfect squares, so they can be written as 5 square and a square. Because this is a perfect square with a negative sign in between, so this can be written as 5 minus a and 5 plus a. Here also, these are not the perfect squares. We can take two common out of the two terms. It is 16x square minus 9y square. Now we know 16x square is also a perfect square and 9y square is also a perfect square. This can be written as 4x whole square minus 3y whole square. This can further be converted to 4x minus 3y as one factor and 4x plus 3y as another factor. When I am saying x minus y whole square, this can be considered as one term which is a perfect square. So it is x minus y whole square minus 3 whole square, which can be written as x minus y minus 3 and x minus y plus 3. Here also we can put it as 3 x plus y, the whole square of it, because 9 can be written as 3 square minus x square which can further be written as 3x plus y minus x as one bracket and thrice of x plus y plus x. One thing we have to keep in mind that if the terms are x and x, there are two, uh, there are two places where we are putting the x term that we have to solve it further, it becomes 2x plus 3y. Because 3x minus x will become 2x and 3 multiplied over y become 3y. And this is 3x plus x becomes 4x plus 3y. If I solve this again, 20x square is not a perfect square. We have to take something common and that is 5. It is 4x square minus 9y square. We can further be written as 2x whole square minus 3y whole square. So 5 can be taken as common. It is 2x minus 3y as one bracket and 2x plus 3y as another bracket because the identity goes x square minus y square is equal to x minus y multiplied by x plus y. So this we can say 9x square is a perfect square. 4y plus 2x whole square is also a perfect square. This can be written as 3x the whole square minus 2 bracket y plus 2x and the whole square of this term. So this can be written as 3x minus twice of y plus 2x in one bracket and 3x plus twice of y plus 2x as another bracket. I already told you in this question if there are two places where we are putting the x term we should solve it. So further solving it is, it is 3x minus 2y minus 4x. And this is 3x plus 2y plus 4x. Adding these two terms, it is minus x minus 2y as the first factor. And 
3, uh, 7x plus 2y as another factor. We can take a negative term common as well. So we can write minus of x plus 2y and 7x plus 2y. So this way we can solve the questions which are based on this identity that is x square minus y square is equal to x minus y into x plus y. If you have any problem, you can email us or contact us. Thank you.